Hi, I'm Simon Inman. Today we're going to run through the functionality of DigiWeld within DigiBIM. This provides a quick and seamless flow of information from the authoring source, such as Tekla, to that of the fabricator provided by Fortman. So here we have a model that's been created uh, and exported from Tekla and we're simply going to check the welds such that we get the uh, minimal interaction with uh, human hand to the uh, uh, fabricator. So at this point what we'll do is we'll simply uh, select our assembly at this point and from here we're going to remap the weld uh, to start off with to ensure that we've got the true weld path, i.e. the path that we wish the robot to, uh, to actually follow at this point. So again, we can do it for an entire assembly, but we're just going to do it quickly here for this. And this is actually happening uh, not only on the PC, but uh, remotely on the cloud, such that if when doing a larger model, I can do other tasks whilst uh, waiting for this to complete. We can see that that has finished. We get the report and uh, the information. And then from there, we can simply say, right, we run uh, the check and fixes. Uh, again, we can see here several different checks uh, with uh, uh, corresponding fixes as well. Uh, but we can do this all in one by simply just uh, running the all-in-one tool. And now this is uh, looking for the likes of missing welds, overlapping welds, flashing welds, and adding uh, additional welds that are required for sealing, uh, such as uh, corner welds, uh, fillet on edge, uh, transforming those at that point. We can see that that is finished. We get the sum of the welds, and uh, if we just go in, we can see the finished welds with the uh, edge welds. And if I just uh, isolate this assembly using some of the BIM functionality, we can see also if I hide this part, all of the clashing welds in between are missing or uh, been removed. And if I just go back to the hierarchy and export, I can now just uh, export that file to complete the process. And then this file can be passed to the Vacam software.